Has anybody here ever been to the Magic Castle here in Los Angeles? Oh, very excited about it, too. <laughs> um, if you're not familiar with the Magic Castle, it is an establishment right here in Los Angeles, and it is a uh, club for magicians, a private club where magicians can go and uh, not get beat up, I'm assuming. <laughs> Calling a magic castle was cooler than the magic fort. So, <laughs> um, I've been there a, a few times, and uh, I was there recently uh, because my girlfriend really wanted to go. Um, my girlfriend was sort of obsessed with the magic castle for a while. Um, she had never been and always wanted to go, and it's not like she would talk about it all the time. I discovered this um, because anytime she had an out-of-town guest, she would always advise them to stay at the Magic Castle Hotel. Because if you stay at the Magic Castle Hotel, you get free tickets to go to the Magic Castle. The only way you can go. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to be invited by a member. And who knows one of them? Nobody. <laughs> Why would you? So this happened a few times and my girlfriend would have somebody coming in from out of town and I would hear her on the phone saying, oh, well, you know where you should stay? Uh, the Magic Castle Hotel. Because if you stay there, you get free tickets to the Magic Castle. That was the big selling point. <laughs> oh, it's in uh, one of the worst areas for traffic in town. Um, not that great a hotel. <laughs> and there are absolutely zero amenities, but you will get to go to the Magic Castle. I'm assuming you love magic. So, after I heard her do this a few times, I finally asked her, hey, why do you, why do you want to go to the Magic Castle so much? Because that was the idea, is that, that was part of the, the great selling thing, it was like, you get tickets to the Magic Castle, and then we could all go together. <laughs> so I said, why do you want to go to the Magic Castle so badly? And her head whipped around, and she said, because it's exclusive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> she wanted to go only because she was not allowed to go. That was the only reason. She didn't give a shit about magic. It's not like that was part of her daily life that every day, oh, you know what I wish was happening right now? Magic. <laughs> Never happened. So finally, she convinces her own father. <laughs> He's gonna come down to visit his precious daughter. Dad, you know where you should stay, the Magic Castle. <laughs> so, he stays at the Magic Castle, get the passes, and so uh, a group of us go, four of us go to the Magic Castle, and we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna have dinner and see the big show. They actually call it the big show. And uh, so we get there, and uh, the, the place is crammed floor to ceiling with shit, right? There is magic-themed bric-a-brac all over the place. Every square inch is covered. It's crazy. And it's, it sort of makes you crazy a little bit when you're in there like, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't be here anymore. So there's portraits of all sorts of magicians of the past and the present, not so many from the future. Isn't that curious? <laughs> and there's like some, uh, you know, old photographs, there's paintings, there's caricatures, all this stuff. And so we're waiting to sit down at dinner and uh, we see uh, this one portrait. It's an oil painting of this uh, magician, uh, an older gentleman, I would say, uh, based on the style of his clothes and the frames of his glasses. It, it was probably painted in the um, early 70s. And uh, this guy looked to be in, in his early 70s, right? And uh, so obviously some legendary guy. I did not recognize him. Uh, there was no name or anything. It was just like, you know him, right? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm, looking at, I'm looking at this painting, and there's something that's kind of off about it. And it takes me a couple seconds to realize 
I'm looking at this thing and I realize in this, claim, in this painting, it's a painting, this guy very clearly is wearing a toupee. <laughs> it's a painting. <laughs> what kind of a dick artist <laughs> is so dedicated to the truth, right? Like, no, I paint what I see. I don't paint lies. <laughs> or was this guy cool with it? Was this guy, look, I know where to be. Don't go easy on me, son. Everyone knows I have false hair. I have enough self-confidence, I'm all right with that. Not enough self-confidence to not wear the false hair, though. <laughs> because if it was me and I had a bad toupee, I would probably go to the artist and I would say, uh, look, I think we both know uh, about the elephant in the room here. And I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but if I give you... Uh, you extra hundred dollars while you paint my official oil portrait. Um, could you make my hair look real? I tell you why I asked because uh, I would prefer that when future generations who have no idea who I am look at my official oil portrait hanging in my sort of hall of fame that their first thought not be uh, wig. So if I make it worth your while, would you please help me achieve an illusion I was unable to achieve in life? <laughs> so while we're sitting there at dinner, while we're sitting there at dinner, a photographer, the house photographer of the Magic Castle comes over to our table and says, would you like a souvenir picture? Now here's what my girlfriend's father did not know about me, is I have this weird, perverse love of being ripped off by touristy bullshit, right? Like anything like that where I know it's going to be like insultingly overpriced. I love it. I just love the gall of it, right? If it's one of those situations where you're out at a bar or something and somebody comes over, rose for the lady? Oh, how much? Uh, $10? <laughs> you have got yourself a deal. That thing could not look more wilted. Do you accept its tip, sir? So this guy comes over and says, you know, picture for the table. Would you like a souvenir picture? And I say, how much? The guy goes, $20 a person. And I'm like, absolutely we would like a picture. Are you kidding me? Will it be wildly unflattering? I hope so. <laughs> How poor is the quality? Can you guarantee that it's a picture I would never display in my home? <laughs> so, the guy takes a picture and uh, <laughs> then her dad says, I'll pay for it. And I'm like, oh, oh no. No, this, this is the first time I'm meeting my girlfriend's father. And what he knows about me already is, this guy is not good with money. I gotta bail this idiot out of this situation. Some itinerant vaudeville performer. He's got $80 to waste. So I feel really self-conscious about it, but then that self-consciousness goes away as we all proceed to get hammered. We're sitting there at dinner and we just, there's a, we have a lot of time to kill before the big show, so we just have more and more drinks. So by the time we get down to the big show, everybody in that room is 
drunk. It is like everyone's been through the same experience we have, and it's like a high school cafeteria in there, right? <laughs> People are screaming and yelling, and everyone is all dressed up because there's a dress code at the Magic Castle. So you're seeing all these adults in coats and ties and nice dresses. Yeah, hey, what's going on? We want to do some magic. <laughs> it's insane. Sweating. Knocking stuff over. So the photographer has told us, after he rips us off, he says, okay, here's what's going to happen. When you go down to the big show, before the big show starts, I'm going to go out on stage and I'm going to hold up everybody's pictures. And when you see your picture, you yell out, hocus pocus focus. So we're in a place that's kind of juvenile and now it's been made infantile, right? So... We go, Roger that, sir. We are ready to yell. So we go down, and everybody's screaming and yelling. The photographer comes out, and he starts holding up pictures, and people are screaming, All right, all right, all right! <laughs> And I am thrilled because I got one loaded up in my brain, right? <laughs> so this guy, <laughs> finally, the magical moment arrives, and he holds up our photo, and uh, I, I yell out, Hocus Pocus, you soaked us for $80! <laughs> it was a huge hit. It was a huge hit. Every drunk in that room was cracking up. <laughs> I 